How to find breakout setups which are likely to go up 8 to 20 or 40, 50 percent after a breakout. So let's have a look at it. In order to find breakouts, basically I use two uh, kind of scans. One is the 4 percent breakout. So this is a bullish scan for a 4 percent breakout. It looks for a stock which is up 4 percent and its volume today is greater than volume yesterday or the, in today's case like so the today's volume is greater than the volume on Friday and volume is greater than 100,000. So this is basically uh, whenever this condition is true what you will see on the chart is something like this that this day this condition was true or today this condition is true. Okay. Similarly there is a bearish scan for the bearish scan you are looking at C by C1 is 0.96 that means like in the stock is down more than 4% volume is greater than yesterday's volume and volume is greater than 100,000. Whenever that condition is met, you can see that on the chart, like here it was the condition was met or here or here or on these days, these days. So there are a lot of 4% down days on this particular stock which we are looking at, okay. And also on my chart, I have uh, some other indicators which makes it easier to find whether a stock is uptrending or downtrending. One of them is TI-65. TI-65 yeah, is basically trend intensity of 65 days. So what it tells you is that the stock has a trend for last six, uh, seven days or 65 days and the trend also is not only a trend but it has also a certain velocity. So it's a way of finding momentum basically which is average C7 by average C65 greater than 1.05 and whenever that is true you'll find a green area on the chart. So if you see like something like this like you'll see when it was green, uh, the stock was in an uptrend. And you can find out if a stock is in a downtrend, then it will show up on the negative side. So for the negative side, it is average C7 by average C65 is less than 0.95. And whenever that is true, you will get an area like this on the chart. Uh, now, uh, some of you asked me on email, like how do I make my chart white? Uh, this is very easy all that you have to do is edit chart properties uh, and when you edit chart properties uh, what you can find is color and grade so background color if you make it white then your chart will be white and then the prior when you put in the um, color for the uh, candlestick if you put them black then you'll get a chart like this. So basically you have to select those things on the chart to get this kind of things on your chart basically. So once you have these scans, also I have these same scans as uh, easy scan. So basically there is universe and I'll explain universe in a minute. Universe on which I will be running the 4% scan which is exactly same as what I showed you here. So whenever it is true, the stock will show up in the list, okay? Similarly, I have 4% bearish scan, 4% bearish is basically universe on which you are using the same scan which is shown here, and that will give you bearish. In addition to 4% scan for finding breakouts, I use dollar breakouts. Dollar breakout is basically a stock which is up more than 90 cents from its opening price. So C minus O is greater than 0.90. That means like the stock has to be up uh, more than 90 cents for it to show up. In this particular case, this is a bullish, okay? Same way you're looking for bearish. On the bearish side, you're looking for a stock O minus C is greater than 0 0.90. That means the stock is down more than 90 cents. So if this particular stock, as you can see, was down more than 90 cents. It was down $10, so it came in in the scan, okay? Similarly, if you see uh, on the bu uh, bullish side, like say, if you're looking at the dollar bullish, you will see that uh, say a stock which is like an app was up four dollar ninety from its opening price, so it will have the uh, it will come in the dollar breakout. So once you have the scan set, the list on which I run this scan is the universe. The universe is basically uh, a watch list which I create, uh, and the reason for creating that is in telechart there are different watch list and you want to combine them in so that way you don't spend too much time running too many scans so what I do is I take all the US stocks and put them into that universe list I take all the American depository receipts and put them into the 
uh, same list because these ADRs are not part of this US stock list. And then I also take all the ETFs and put it into the same uh, universe list. So this universe list consists of all the stocks, which are US stocks, ADRs, and ETFs. So that's how you get a master list on which this scans are run. So once you have this scan, uh, I also create for working purpose, I create a watch list, which is basically a watch list of like say, um, bullish working watch list and a bearish working watch list. So once I run the scan, now these scans, the output from this particular scan, I will put it into the bullish working watch list. Output from the bearish, I'll put it into the working watch list. Okay, so that way analysis becomes simple and all the stock which show up in the dollar breakout bullish, I'll copy all of them into bullish working watch list. The reason being that some stock which show up in the dollar breakout, they also show up in the 4% uh, breakout. So you don't want to duplicate the effort and similarly you create into bearish work. Now once you have this, you start by create, looking at the bullish watch list in order to make the work simpler, I sort them by dollar. Now what is this dollar? Dollar is basically the same. Uh, it's like basically C minus O. So that way you can eliminate some of this stock because this stock was like down $4 after its opening price. So it spent the day going down after uh, gapping up. So that's why uh, it's easier. So now you have 410 stocks which are either up 4% or they are meeting the dollar breakout condition. Now within this, you want to find a candidate uh, which is a good buy candidate basically now what i would look for in a good buy candidate is say this is an example of a good buy candidate okay uh, stock had an uptrend as shown by trend intensity stock had sideways moves very compact sideways move and today is breaking out on high volume and close near the high. That's an example of the kind of setups which I'll be looking at. So if you look at like this particular list and let's go over it very fast, quickly to see if we can find good setups. And obviously many of this work, you do it during the day uh, as and when stocks start showing up uh, and you start selecting stocks and buy them if they are meeting your conditions basically. Now, one of the advantage of sorting it this way is like really you can eliminate the lower price stocks very quickly. I really don't spend too much time on these lower price stocks, but here is a setup which might be workable kind of a setup for a low price stock. Uh, I really don't focus on anything which is trades below $3, uh, but uh, I for this video, I'm going to go through everything. If I don't find a good setup, I just keep going. Uh, now this is a possible, see there was a 4% record, there was no follow through here, there was a 4% record, didn't really follow through. Now this is a nice setup because stock has trend intensity, orderly pullback, low volume pullback, breaking out, close near the high. Uh, so this is one of the candidate to look at. Now, if you find a good candidate during the day, then it makes more sense to buy it immediately because uh, stock can keep going up after that. I'll show you an example of that when we come to that particular stock, which I bought in the morning and it went up a lot after that. So just because the stock shows up in the scan, is it is not a buy. Here, the stock was a good buy here yesterday because it had a 4% record and it had a follow through of 7% today. That's the kind of swing trades which you're looking for. Now here is a stock which is like a first leg sideways. I would have liked a less volatile consolidation. It is breaking out. Didn't really close near the high, but uh, it's not like it gave up too much of the gain. So that's one other possibility out of the things which you have seen, okay? And my conditions, you know, what are my conditions for looking for a good breakout? It has to close near the high. It should be, uh, uh, the stock should not be up three days in a row because if a stock is up three days in a row, if supposing you buy a breakout like this, this is up two days in a row. Uh, the breakout actually happened here, okay? It didn't had like in a 4% breakout, I think on that day, 3.52. So, but like, and if you buy this, you're too late in the move. So you have to find something which is 
just breaking out and not something which is old now something like this i'll not take because like of this big drop you don't want something which has a four percent breakdown in immediate vicinity before the uh, breakout okay now this is a breakout which i bought and i bought it at a much earlier price point during the day in the morning early morning basically and the stock kept on going up after that the stock is up 10.97 now see look at it this is an ipo so ipo is basically a small consolidation from which it had a breakout and volume was also high uh, this if anybody is wondering what is this this is like the earnings percentage and this is the sales percentage uh, for the last four quarters which i manually entered on this particular thing i enter some of these things on stocks which are like in a very good earnings uh, so that when i'm looking going through the scan i can quickly look at those stocks and give them more importance in terms of buying or have a position size which can be larger in order to get that kind of an information you need to have a uh, market smith subscription okay now some of these are dollar breakout because now we are in a situation the stock is up only 1.05 but like you know, it is up more than 90 cents so that's why it is showing up in this can okay the stock doesn't close near the high or if it doesn't have a valid setup there is no point in spending time on that particular stock no matter how attractive the story is you're basically buying in this kind of a methodology or this kind of a setup a particular setup idea if the setup conditions are met then that's a good stock if the setup conditions are not met then no matter how good that stock is it's not a buy idea So this is a possibility you see here like the first leg three days of consolidation stock didn't really close near the high exactly at high but like it didn't really give up too much of a uh, gains but so this is a possibility basically You always look for very smooth trends uh, stocks which are going up very smoothly because that's an indicator that that a stock has buyers uh, aggressive buyers the stock is too uh, volatile i am not interested from a swing trading point of view because you want something which is like this which is like in a very orderly this was a very orderly setup here on this particular day was also a dollar breakout now that's the kind of setup which you want to look at Now, if you do this daily and if you know what you're looking for, it takes only around 5-10 minutes to go through this entire list. Now, this is also a dollar breakout, like and a stock is up only 3.75. This is the first leg, sideways, breaking out volume wasn't really too high, but uh, that is a possibility. Means those are possible buy ideas, okay, basically. How much time does it take to go through these many stocks? Uh, it should not take you more than 10-15 minutes. Uh, most of the time I can do this in 15 minutes. And you have to also understand during the day also you would have looked at them if you are a full time trader. See here this is like in a breaking out. It's a little bit choppy. This is a high price stocks. Uh, uh, this is the earning state. So next earning is there is still time for it. So maybe kind of a setup. I put it in watch list or like an A.
See now this particular breakout, like it didn't close near the high. So it almost ended up going up 30, 40%, 30% of the gains or more than that or 30% almost I think. So that's why I would not take something like this. Does mean it doesn't work? Sometimes it works. It's just that you're setting your own parameters to select the best ideas out of these scans. Something like this is too deep a pullback for some of my liking, so obviously that's not something which I would take. Uh, wave life science, the stock is technically up three days in a row, so has been like a little bit choppy. Can it work? Yes, possible, but like I would let it go. See, if you run this scan, every stock uh, which has got a breakout or which is likely to go up will show up in your scan. Uh, at the beginning of its swing move, basically. Now uh, this is up two days in a row. Now uh, this tracks. This is a nice dollar breakout. See, orderly. It was also an anticipation setup. So, in fact, in many good breakouts, you'll be able to find them in anticipation before they show up in your breakout scan, or yeah, they should be in your watch list based on how they are setting up before the breakout, basically. Uh, this is a very nice breakout basically see here so something like this on a large cap stock can still work okay large cap stocks can still from a correction go up uh, so this is workable kind of a setup on a large cap stock And also like and I see here like and this is capitalization so if you're wondering what is a large cap it's like 65 billion okay. 544 billion so those are really large caps now something like this obviously it's up three days in a row so you can't really get into those kind of ideas Tesla is down so out of these stocks you have these ideas WTI okay now this is where you have to critically go through everyone and decide. If you look at which one do I want to take. And this is where you can use things like float, like the lower the float, better it is. Now, this particular stock, this is very choppy, so I wouldn't really look at something like this. But this was like an, the, one of the best setups. And here the float is not shown, but its float is quite low. Uh, IO. And now, as compared to this, uh, and this between these two, this is a better setup. So I selected that particular setup. Now here also, this is a nice setup, like not bad, uh, but like and I would have liked more uh, uptrending kind of a move than like gap up and going up, gap up and going up kind of a thing. Uh, this is again a little bit too choppy. So you have tracks. This is also very nice. This is also very nice. So you have like you know, three very good setups, which still can be bought on next day. Okay, Seiko, uh, tracks and an app. Uh, these are the best and then you have some more to work with but like obviously if you're buying uh, only one or two then Seiko is the number one, Anab is number two and Trex is the number three. So I'm going to put all these uh, copy flagged into a, a watch list momentum burst. Uh, so that's like an eight, eight candidate you found out of this only like uh, the best one is this, uh, then you have Trex uh, and an app, okay? Now, in case, like, uh, if you have too much choice, basically, okay? Uh, you, what you can do is you can, like, and sort them by float, so you can add a column, uh, insert a column, okay? And look for latest float. Okay, so you have latest float, okay? Uh, add as a value column so now you have latest float here okay so the one which has the lowest float are the good one okay so you have an with 11 million so that's like a good uh, setup 
or that is a better than like something which has like 60 million float okay depends on your size of account also seiko i i can tell you seiko float is uh, i'll have to go into market smith to find that but like uh, i know it's not very large small uh, float uh, because it's a recent ipo and uh, i'm just looking up on my other computer so in a minute i'll tell you how much is the float on that taking too much time to open uh, but uh, no it has a fairly large float it has 35 million float so it's not very small so I know is the smallest float out of this actually so that is as far as the bullish side is concerned similarly you want to find bearish ideas because you want to be playing both sides of the market so in order to do that what I do in bearish case is I have sorted this by same dollar and uh, anything which is like in a down one cent two cent three cent you don't want to really spend your time on unless you have a very small account and you want to really like and i short these lower price stocks which is possible you can still make money doing that but like you know, that's not where i spend my time so anything which is like in a less than 25 cents i don't even look at it so like say let's go to around something like an around 20 cents okay and then same thing which you're looking for you're looking for a good short setup if you can find now here is like and i say this is a stock which is like and it's going down this is a counter trend move and that trend uh, that counter trend move is failing okay and in the case of uh, down moves it's not necessary that they should have a uh, trend intensity, low trend intensity, uh, down moves. In fact, and some of the best down no, moves are stocks which have excessive bullishness or they are in uh, they are in uptrend and then they break down. Like this particular stock, if you see in the last five days, it has gone down around 15, 16 percent. So those are the things you have to look at the both end when you're looking at shorts. Basically, that's what it is. Okay. Again, the same thing applies. You don't want to look at something which is like an up three day, down three days in a row. This is possible, TTS. Uh, and the other thing you have to remember is a lot of times, like say, there is a lot of uh, people who buy support, okay? So something like this, uh, often like and they can reverse, okay? So these are not necessarily the best of the setup. The best of the setups are uh, more a continuation uh, down moves. Uh, so if we can find today, I'll show you what it looks like. So if you go through these scans, you'll find that like and all these stocks show up in the scan uh, when they start their down move or up move. It's just a question of going through them daily and having a process to find the best candidate and then entering them as and when they show up in your scans. So something like this. It's a good short candidate. This has a lot of strength like here, like last time it did have a follow through and it had a 10% follow through. So that's the kind of setup which is working and you'll see that currently in the market also. A uh, lot of stocks which have gone up, they are going down. So, uh, or they are like reversing. So that's a, those are kind of setups which work well. So now you also have the dollar record coming in because now we are looking at stocks which are down more than 90 cents and uh, something like this is a good breakdown, high volume breakdown happening after a move. You'll see quite a number of stocks have made their moves and now breaking down or uh, basically pulling back. So a lot of stocks are like that. And that's why you'll see in the breadth it is shown like that. It is showing like that. Uh, now if you see this 
this is down but like it is a long tail otherwise that's also would have been a, if it was like this that would have been a good breakdown here see it followed through for 10 percent um, this kind of a thing can work this is a nice setup for a short I think this should also work uh, for a slightly longer hold period of like say 10 to 15 days because big huge uh, volume breakdown recent IPO I think can also work something like this also but like you know, the stock is down already 20 percent so risk reward term it's not really an ideal situation but uh, something like that can work so you'll see that like you know, when you look at this scan it also tells you about the health of the market or what is happening in the market you'll see that a lot of stocks are like this they've gone up a lot and now in the recent days they're breaking down so Again, stock is down 21%. The better breakdown was here on this particular day. And it went down a lot after that. This can work. It can have a follow through. Now again, like, uh, this is not a shot. I'm just showing you that, look, and I put in this kind of things if I see something has a good earnings, okay. Alni. Again, this can work because you see a lot of things are breaking down currently. So I would say so from this short setups, like you'll see that uh, you had NBR, you had TTS, you had EC at EVG, EFI, Gold, PRG, PGWB, W and Alni. So we'll copy all these flag to again momentum burst. And if you look at say the short side, uh, it's always a good idea to look at uh, stocks which have gone up a lot, like say, if you look at like say, this is by YTD, uh, when they start breaking down, they can make a big uh, down move, like say something like this had gone up a lot. It had gone up like around 244% for the year. Uh, stocks which was the strongest makes the best shots. Uh, weeks also make uh, good shots, but like the quickest shots tends to be the stocks. Uh, where like you know, they had gone up a lot, especially if like your stock which has gone up 500, 700, 800 uh, percent, when it breaks down, there are a lot of people who are trapped or like a lot of people who still believe in that story and then they make the quick move. So those are some of the things which you can find very easily. Now this is like basically how I find breakout setups and uh, obviously all this work is done during the day time because I don't really look at this end of the day. I do it multiple times during the day and enter as and when good setups show up. Uh, but for your benefit, I have shown you end of the day how to do this. The best way to do this is like you start doing it uh, from like first half an hour onward and multiple times during the day if you're a full-time trader, that way you'll get into many moves much faster. Now this is 4% and dollar breakout. If, if you don't find enough ideas, then there are other things which I shared like low threshold breakouts which can give you additional ideas to work with. But this is more than enough if you really run these scans and pair it with uh, anticipation setups, you'll find more ideas than you have capital uh, on a daily basis to get into all of them basically.
so that's how you can find breakout setups and you can enter and you can exit them and make money uh, what is required is to set it up and know what you're looking for and then have a process and follow the process and have stringent rules and regulations or stringent uh, criteria for selecting a breakout that way you'll not be wasting time on B grades or C grade setups.